Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can get inbound phone calls sent directly into one of your Slack channels. So the idea is that now that most of the people are working remotely, you're not in the office so you don't have the chance to hear whenever somebody answers the phone and um, actually take some action point after that. So if, P uh, if your team members or your colleagues are working from home um, it's kind of difficult to align and know exactly when somebody calls and what should happen with um, the customer that has called your business that's where you can use the nimbata slack integration and today i'm going to show you exactly how to do that with a couple of clicks so let's get right into it so from the nimbata interface you want to head over to integrations and then click on the slack integration Click on Add to Slack. You get a pop-up window here. Um, if you're not uh, logged in to your um, Slack organization, you can um, use your workspace, enter the workspace, and then click on Allow, giving Nimbada permission to write um, information in your Slack channel. So I'm going to head, go ahead and click Allow, and Nimbada will tell me that the app is connected to Slack. Next step. Select the channel which you want to receive the notifications. I've created a, um, a channel uh, specifically for inbound calls. So I'm going to select the inbound calls. And then the final step would be to select which data should be included within the message. Now, the dev guys here have done a, a tremendous job. I mean, you, you have so many options to choose from um, of what type of call data you want to be sent to your uh, Slack channel. I typically go with. Um, Know, some of the things that um, are, are easy to digest and, and view with a um, quite quite quickly. So um, this is where you set how the, um, the, the 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 field will appear. So here, if the value is the tracking number, Nimbara will send you uh, which number was called. So I'm going to rename that number called. I might not want this. Then the caller ID, who called. So I'm going to leave that as caller ID. Um, destination number. I don't want the friendly name. Call outcome, it was answered or not. Let's name this duration. UDM source, UDM medium, and UDM campaign. I'm going to leave them, leave them as is. The, the Google Analytics customer ID, I, I, I don't want this. The landing page, I also don't want this. But what I do want here is the start time. So I would call this um, time of call. And then I also want another row here, which would be um, the recording link. So I would label this as listen to call which will include um, the link to the recording which is, is quite handy because with one click you can listen to what your colleague um, has talked about with uh, the lead that called your number and then you if you want to dive into more details maybe you would also like to include i don't know the action page which i would label here as page lead called from so once I'm ready and I have my mapping these are the labels that will appear in, in slack and these is these are the values that Nimbada will send after each call has been made you can click on send test and, and save and this will bring this window here where you can actually send a test event to Slack so you can see exactly how this information will appear. So number called, let's leave that as is. Caller ID, let's place a dummy caller ID here. 9999. Call outcome answer, duration 300 seconds. UDM source, Google, CBC. Um, I don't know, brand, campaign, maybe. Time of call, listen to the call. That can be a, let's also set a dummy link here. And then the page they called from, again, I'm, I'm, I'm going to place our own website for the sake of testing. 
again, whenever calls place, Nimbara will send you the uh, attributed data where, wherever the um, customer found you. So I'm going to go ahead and click on send event to Slack. This will send the event. So let's head over to Slack and check inbound calls channel. And here it is. This is how calls to the Slack channel will appear. Hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comments.